What up, though, homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle. Welcome back to the lab. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscription button and that notification bell, because you're going to like what we got going on over here. You ain't going to want to miss not one second of madness your homie Grand Tizzle got in store for you. Today, we're going to pick up where we left off. The tutorial is we're going to drive the point home. We're going to use the same approach, but just with different elements, and the end result is going to be a clean, simple, premium, professional look. And if you stick around to the end, I got a bonus for you. Let's get it popping. All right, fam, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this party started. And the reason why I'm calling it a party is because, of course, there's a party flyer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start placing our elements. Now, I will make this folder available for you so you can look down in the description below. So the first thing I'm going to do is start adding all of, all of our elements. So, of course, we got to place them all. So give me one second so I can make all these placements. All right, so um, we're going to start off with the model. Now, um, the model have a really nice skin tone. So let's just kind of put her by herself. She got a really nice skin tone. So what we're going to do is actually leave uh, the color and we're going to pretty much base the entire color scheme around her. All right, so the second thing we're going to do is um, add our balloons. So obviously this is on a fictitious, it's just a fictitious PNG. So we got to go ahead and uh, remove this out of here. All right, there we go. And then we'll hit delete. Oh, sorry about that. So you know we have to rasterize this. So rasterize the layer. Actually, we need to rasterize all the layers. But we'll do that in a second. All right, so let me click select and hold. Here, let me cut on all the eyes. And we just hold shift and right click. And we'll rasterize all the layers at once. Now you guys know that you already want to adjust the proportion size when you um, when you do that. So make sure you do that before you um, make your adjust the size the way you want before you rasterize it. Because once you rasterize it, you lose the ability um, to do some sweet things with it as far as adjusting the size. All right, so let's put this balloon behind her. And um, what I want to do is, here, let's ro I'm going to rotate this. And I'll explain to you why in a second. Let's uh, flip it. I mean, sorry about that. Flip it horizontal. Let me undo that. And we're going to flip this, rotate this, transform, flip horizontal. And the reason why is because I want a little bit, I want the taller balloon here to be a little above here. All right. And um, we're going to pull the chair in. Cheer or chair? Some people like to say chair. I like to say chair. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's enlarge this chair. And let's erase the bottom here. Go up here and get a brush as a fade brush. This circular one here. We want to only take the edges off here. That's it. Take the edges. All right, we're good there. And let's put our. Um, famous background there so we're going to do a light gray it could be a dark gray the darker the gray sometimes the more rich it look now actually we can just hit a solid color for now and then of course we'll do a bouquet a vignette of white so let's make another layer paint the inside of that white now, yes, it is that simple. Now, of course, we can get into deeper, but you know, we get into the deeper ones when you get the premium tutorial package, and then you can, you know, really dive off, dive off into some deeper things. Now, we're gonna keep it like this. I like that. It looked very, very expensive there. Like a real professional photographer took this and added it in the background. So I created two more layers to to kind of thicken that up a little bit. Um, strengthen that white but um, I'll go in here and then I'm gonna turn opacity down I want it too strong but I do want it to look very very elegant let's pull our diamond up top we'll cut that on first thing we're gonna do is give a shout out to coverpsd.com that's where I got the image from and then uh, we're gonna delete this 
And then we want to uh, desaturate the color so that we can just be working specifically with a black and white. So let's do that and we'll just simply desaturate it. And uh, that way, when we put our little bling on it, we can add our own little hues and tones to it. So let's shrink one down and let's say put it over here. Right, because those are the elements that's just floating around. Then we can take another one and uh, just slide something like that over here. Twist it, shrink it, and um, maybe another one. And kind of just let it, you know, just let it float over the place. There's really no rules. The only rules is the is that uh, everything have a, a symmetrical look to it. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and grab our disco ball and um, let's desaturate that. Because we don't want no tones to it. Because again, we want to add our own tones. So let's shrink this down. So, so what we want to do is make sure that like the biggest ball... <laughs> We want to make sure that the biggest ball is um, uh, made first. And every other ball, we want to shrink it. You know what I mean? So, like, this is good here. And then we'll put another ball here. But we'll shrink this down. But the reason why you don't want to shrink the balls first is because if the ball is shrunk before the other ball, then if you, you, if you work it with a smaller ball and you try to blow it up, um, it's going to be real grainy. That whole, that whole paragraph sounded wrong, but this is a family friendly, uh, you know, tutorial. So we're not going to look deeper into that. All right. So anywho, uh, let's go ahead and shrink that ball down and um, we're good to go with that. And what I really want to do is I really need these balls to stand out and the balloons may be obstructing. <laughs> The balloons might be obstructing the balls. So what we're gonna do is um, take the ball layers, oh shit, like that, and we'll drag it behind the balloons. But now we're gonna need to shrink the balloons a little bit so that the balls can show. All right. And uh, maybe I give it a different name just because I just feel silly now. So we'll call it like DB Disco Balls. And um, let's um, put our champagne uh, glasses in there. So let's um let's take the champagne to the top just so we can see where you are. And uh, let's shrink you down to like so and uh, you know place you uh somewhere fun, right? Like right there. That's cool, right? And maybe we'll drop you behind the girl. Let me hit enter. We'll drop you behind her. And um yeah, that's cool. Yeah, right there. And uh, let's make another one. No, we want to drag it down to make another copy. Cool, boom. And then we'll drag that like so up here. So we're, we're pretty much kind of, you know, um, going the same directions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, kind of using the, the, the same approach, just different elements, just like I said at the beginning of the tutorial. So let's back this up. Okay, cool. And, um, yeah, let's move this diamond. This diamond is, should be seen here. And then let's make another copy of the diamond and perhaps swing it over here. And uh, and that's a good look right there. So let's zoom in on that. There's one more element here. It's this Patron bottle. I just wanna see it. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna plant this, this boy somewhere in the back. And again, we use the Patron bottle, of course, because it, it matches some of the the element and the decor. You know, it, it, it fits into the theme of that uh, of that particular look. So with that being said, there's three important things you want to do to tie in the elements. And that's add a little bit of background noise. So let's do that right now. The other thing you're going to want to do is create, first of all, let's take our text information and we're gonna drag it all the way to the top here. We're gonna keep it off because we're gonna turn it on when we're done. Uh, let's make another layer, and this is gonna be pretty much like an adjustment layer, the linear dodge. And you guys can put as many glows in there as you want. I'm going to start off with uh, this glow here. <laughs>
and always try to look for white spots to enhance the glow. All right, and um, we got that going and uh, might want to remove a little bit from her face. All right, now that we have our primary elements down, we can turn on our text information layer. And um, for our special text, what we're gonna do for the white, we're gonna select a preset here or style, put the diamonds in it, and then we're gonna select the party and put the golden styles on it. And let's put the party above the white. Okay, cool. All right, so I would love to see what you guys can do. I wanna see if the training has been helping you so make sure you go to the description and download the files so that you can copy along, watch the tutorial again, copy along, and let me see what you can come up with. Email me the finished product at todaysbeat at gmail.com or text it to 1-586-741-1153. I will review it and I will post up the finished product so that everybody else can see that these tutorials is actually helping them. And just in case, if this was not detailed enough for you and you really wanted to really dive and dig deep in to these sessions, make sure y'all go over to todaysbeats.com slash white party and you can pick up the detailed version of these tutorials. All right, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to sub, like, and hit that bell so you won't miss a beat of that heat that I bring to my leap. Till the next time. See you in a minute. See you when I spin it.